Absolutely it's a little It's another splendiferous day at our palazzo. Oh, it is. It really is. And we've come up today because um, the final lot of our windows and doors, when I say final, I don't mean all of them because there's 50 in total, but the final lot of the... Um, on this level. On this level, on the ground floor, on the first floor. That's sort of like the first lot. We're halfway there. Um, are supposed to be arriving today. What we wanted to do is actually today show you the entrance of our palazzo because in our last video we did say we'd give you a tour. Well, there is so much of the palazzo to see, so we're going to um, sort of split it into bite-sized pieces, aren't yeah. we? So um, we're going to start now um, just showing you we're here in the old square. There's um, building work going on, isn't there? Yeah, they, they just started uncovering one of the houses they've been working on there. It looks fantastic. Um, I think that one's going to be a bingy as well, actually. Yeah. Um, and it's starting to look beautiful. So you have to imagine this square when all of this is gone and the abbey's finished. It's just going to look stunning up here. And when they've re re redone the courtyard, how it should be. Um, and yeah, it will look uh, absolutely brilliant. And our builders here, that's this white van behind us. He's on their terrace at the moment. Um, but yes, if we um, just go on to the walk into our... Um, palazzo. It's a plaque commemorating people that were lost from this village in the First World War. And we actually recognise some of the names up there. Um, yeah, the Latanzio. There's still There's people, a few Latanzios yeah, here, there's yeah. There's still people living here that are Latanzio. Anyway, so if we go through, this is the original porter. 1918 they've written that but because that's when this was occupied yeah in 1918 in world war one right, but yeah. the porter itself is um obviously a lot older it's the original entrance to the castello the original castello of san benedetto and perilous century. eight to ten somewhere between yeah that. we don't know exactly but it's uh, it's very old so it's, it's um yeah they've it, redone it and um again i mean we will be pointing out quite a few mistakes cultural heritage it, 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 would, have had, to it would have had big doors here that would have locked with a massive piece of oak that went behind it here and um, in there and in there where they filled it by accident which i'm going to undo one night and they won't know about that yeah it's got pieces of roman stone set into it there that's a piece of roman stone it also would have had a drawbridge on the other side of this, which would not, ha not have had water, but would have had a hole, a big pit, and the pit would have had spikes in it. And if they were under attack, they would have pulled the drawbridge up at the last minute, and the people at the front would have fallen in the pit on the spikes, which would have been lovely. Now that pit is inside our house, because inside our house we have a, a cave that's been blocked up, which I want to open up, which I will do. Um, and if you went into that cave, that cave is here, where the pit was. So listen, let's get through this sand porter. If we go through some beautiful houses These that have recently been, been finished. Yeah. Um, our next door neighbours, wonderful. And Done then a job of it here. This is our front door. We'll go in just a minute. We're just going to go um, along the wall in a bit. But I wanted to point out is the window up there. And look at the. Ah, beautiful stonework above. It says, well, the translation means today salvation has come to this house. So this probably was the spy hole that we've read about in history, um, where the um, baron would have looked out because they were smaller. Plus it's actually probably slightly lower on the inside. So his head height would be probably there. So he could peer out at this confined point to see who is coming in and out of his centre of the, um, Castello. the Castello. Yeah. One of our rooms here, which we're going to turn into, which was probably originally, because um, they found original signs of uh, a religious um, window, and there was a door here into yeah. that in there. This had an original uh, chapel. Mm. And we're going to put that back in this bit as well, we're not opening that up, but um, you yeah. can go in it from in the courtyard. Up here we have another building, um, which is empty. And up here it's got some, what they call rooms, uh, which are very difficult to decipher. 
and very ancient. It's very sweet inside. Yeah. Anyway, um, then we um, we go. Well, we can't. <laughs> you'll see why we can't really go down the side of this. I've got sandals it's on. A bit overgrown. Can't actually see the ground. But usually I cut all this back, but this year I haven't had so much time to do all that. Yeah. Um, obviously when we're here permanently I have to do it all the time. In there is a wine press, it's not ours, that's another property. Uh, this is ours, doors here, this will be the doors to the sauna. Yes, we're going to have a sauna in there. And then over here, there was, before they put this bit of wall back, which wasn't there, um, direct access down the side of the house, which we'd like to put back. So down here, down there, if you can see that, is the door and window to the bedroom of the tower apartment, which is the very cavey one. There's a door there, if you can just see it, and that is the door to what was, or possibly still is, going to be our laundry. We might make it another room, I don't know yet. Um, and uh, then our palazzo continues on and round the corner. We're going to show you the inside uh, the entrance of our house. So this is our main entrance and... Uh, yeah. Come inside. It's a mess. It is a bit of a mess at the moment. There's still lots of work going on. So um, this, you must imagine differently. Um, our courtyard and our well. Yeah, because we're going to have, we want to have bistro chairs here so people come have breakfast, coffees outside here. Um, with lovely terracotta pots and lime trees, lemon trees, that sort of thing. And then this is, you know, when we talked about the outside, and Andrew was talking about, you know, you saw the door on the outside going into what was a, a, a chapel. This is it. It's small. It's very tiny. I'll go in. You can see how... We don't need it a yeah. bit bigger than this. We're going to have a little... Um, so obviously, oh, this is coming out. What's it called? Um, uh, Altar. Altar. We're going to have a small altar across, some seating, some pictures. Stained glass. Stained glass, um, some doors, some incense, and this can be a place show, show. of contemplation for people that want to use it. Yeah. Yeah. Put a stained glass in that window up there, and stained glass in this one up here. Yeah. Um, and some little light here. I don't think, and we're going to paint it, aren't we? We're going to yeah, paint what I'd like is to have a little seating area here. This would work well. There was, there was a, a little seating area here originally with a plank of wood and two holes in the plank of wood, um, which... They converted this into a which toilet. Which clearly was, um, you know, used as a toilet at I'd some still point prefer in time. to have that as the altar because I think it's in front of you as you come in. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, you're right, Andrew, because i tell you what, this is only here because it's got woodworms, so we've, we've... Moved it out. It, yeah, we've moved it out. <laughs> still more space. We're going to have an incense burner in here, and then, in the, and then it can waft, the smell of Ooh. frankincense can waft out into the courtyard. Oh, are you getting this? Are you, are you feeling it? Are you smelling it? It's... Ah. I can't wait, it's going to no. be amazing. What are you going to do about that? Because I don't um, really understand that. This used to be where all of the roof rainwater would come into this point, okay? And this was not here before. And it then went, if you see, there's a hole in it there. That went straight down into what is called our pozzo, the well underneath, the tank. It's a cisterna de aqua. It's in there. It's really um, deep, actually. It's you know, incredibly deep. How, how many um, um, meters down from here? From from here, yeah. I'd say it's about the height of that wall. So I'd say that's about one, two, three, four, five, six meters, something like that. Oh, oh, fill the bathtub quickly. It's coming out. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'll be at attention. Oh, we shut. You have to quickly take that off. Shut the bloody door. And so the bathtub goes to a new home. Yeah. A more spacious home. Yeah. Yeah, because um, Andrew, um, basically, we haven't shown you the the, the bathroom that it came out of, but it, it was too big. The plans that the company that designed the bathroom did somehow didn't match up with the measurements. Um, and basically there's no room next to the bidet um, and literally um, it was uh, sticking out as she came in the door so yeah 
it, it needed to go. Yep. And then we turn where that's come out of into a nice, really big luxury shower. <laughs> and, and we'll show you the bathroom. Senza, the uh, bathtub, um, soon. Soon, in another tour. And Let's we need go. to know when, uh, well, when they're finishing and moving because the, we, yeah, the we, lorry's going to arrive. But the windows have apparently only just now. It's 11.25 have left um, Salmona. So they won't be able to deliver the windows with this truck. No, devi arrivare a un camioncino con le finestre dopo. Quando arriva ti sposti. So inside this, or what they call uh, a cisterna de aqua, which is not a well, this is not a well. A well is where you have natural um, water, spring, uh, water. spring water. Yeah. Cisterna de aqua is underneath yes. the tank. But this, this is a pot so construction. Yes. There's a pot yes, so yes. on the top. So normally mm -hmm. you would find a well, which is spring water under there. But in this instance, you don't. This is a rainwater catchment that takes the rainwater from all of the roofs, because it's a big building, it has a huge amount of roofs, all funneled into here, down there, and straight into the well underneath, uh, Pozzo, and uh, the uh, Cisterna de Aqua underneath. Now, the Cisterna de Aqua underneath is barrel vaulted. And barrel vaulted, in case you don't know what that's like, is that shape. Now, I've been in there on a ladder, I took all this off and I went down on a ladder and I can honestly tell you it was quite scary because I didn't realise how high up it was until I went in there and then I realised it was very high. It was about six metres from the ground to the top of the barrel vault. Um, and there's nothing in there except a massive room and that room is the size of this entire courtyard. It, it fits the entire courtyard, not, not the steps but along this edge here, like that, along there, along there. So it's huge. Imagine how much water you'd be able to collect in there. Thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of litres Yeah, of and, and this would have, back in the day, when um, you know, the Baron or whoever was um, living um, in this palazzo, um, wasn't always all joined up, all the pieces. It was all separate, um, little houses, whatever, and that then got joined up to make this plant, so over the different centuries. Um, but anyway, this would have been one of a few uh, Cisterna d'Aqua that would have served the Castello for their water requirements. Also, you can um, see the remains of how they got the um, water out. So there would have been ropes here with a bucket. They didn't have a fancy um, arch with a wheel on it or anything they just put the bucket over with a rope here and you can see where it's worn down over the hundreds maybe thousands of years of use where the ropes have been pulled up in different places if we ever are lucky enough or successful enough <laughs> in the future um, it will be the the final it um, will be thing that we would do um, we have lots of ideas and lots of dreams but this, is a, this, this is a very grand idea isn't it yeah um, we have um, yeah, this is probably the grandest idea, but um, first of all, uh, yeah, first of all, Sopranenza, uh, he say si or no, and, uh, and, and then depending on that, obviously money, finances, but um, it would be amazing to open up from underneath yeah. um, the, the lower ground levels, um, which we'll show you another time. Um, this is the entrance here to the lower ground uh, levels. So that's, that's where you go at the moment. Yeah. Um, it has to have a door configuration put at the bottom there. It's not uh, like a, a, a cellar, a basement or a dungeon. It sounds like lower ground levels. Because of the way this um, palazzo is actually built on the side, it sort of it slants steps down. down on a hill. It's, yeah, it still has um, light, natural light. We don't actually have a dungeon. No, we don't. No. no. Um, well, we, actually, we have the cave. 
Oh, we have it's been, yeah, it's yeah, been blocked yeah. up, but I'm going to unblock it. But anyway, so from down um, on the lower um, levels, we would make access into, into this just down at Aqua and turn it into a... A giant, <laughs> amazing Whirlpool jacuzzi. Yeah. And then for another time, for another video, we're going to show you the entrance there, which will be to our family home. Yeah. Then the entrance here, you can have a quick peek in. This, this is the entrance to the reception from which we actually have access to our home. But if someone came in who was staying in one of the apartments here, they'd come through these main doors and the first thing they see, apart from Katia obviously, is the entrance to yeah. reception. Welcome. Straight in. Welcome. Benvenuti. Exactly. And then um, this will be the entrance to the terrace apartment, which actually looks like financially, um, because um, of the work we've already done is the best option for us to move into and the quickest Temporarily. Option, the cheapest and quickest before we move into the rest of the building and then have this as a rental apartment. Um, now the windows are going to arrive, um, so we're going um, to get ready. We're going to get ready for that. So um, for this video, thanks for watching. Um, please remember to subscribe. And uh, you should leave this open for the windows. Well, actually, that's a really good idea. So um, yeah. Ciao for now.